It's getting late guys, but I'm about to go and work on my friend's, my friend's Dylan's uh, Audi. It's a 2007 Audi A6. And he just acquired this car not too long ago, but he's having some issues. Can't open the hood and there's an oil leak we have to investigate. So he asked me for my help. So I'm always busy, but today I finally found some time to go there and figure it out. Hopefully. Hmm. No, no, we're not working on those. We're working on this today. Hell yeah. S6. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try and see what happens when we try to open the hood. Look at that. It seems like it's broken. Nothing is happening at all. So we're gonna jack it up and go underneath, try to open this crazy hood. First time working on one of these beasts, crazy beasts. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be a pain probably. All right, I'm gonna start uh, jacking it up. So I'm gonna use this block. Some of that plastic there is broken, but there's your rail right here where you want to put the jack stand. So I'm gonna put that there. Okay, we got it jacked up <laughs> An on jack stand oh, it's got sport suspension bursting shocks lowering springs h and r wow fancy damn look at those big calipers if you compare this to like baby ben's brakes this is like crazy humongous <laughs> so i'm gonna go underneath start removing the shield from underneath if there is any. Oh, actually it actually doesn't have one. Hmm, okay. Well, gotta get to that hood latch from underneath. Well, I'm laying under the core. Okay, so there's an oil leak. That's the main thing. We have to fix the oil leak once we open the hood. But to, to open the hood, I mean, uh, there's like no space at all to get up top. This is so tight. I mean, it's a V10. So I'm trying to brainstorm, like, removing this bumper or what. <laughs> Very interesting, for sure. What is that? Ooh, that's a coolant leak. Looks like. Ooh, yeah. What is, where is it coming from? Looks like from this guy or something. Unless if it's coming from the top. Kind of looks like coolant, yeah. Wow, so many issues with this little baby. Hmm, well, gotta open the hood first. <laughs> it's so tight. Dang it, where is this hood latch at? Man, I wonder if I can get to I think that's where the hood latch is, right there. It's like right there or something. Wow. Brainstorming right now. <laughs> Trying to pull this fender liner. Maybe I can get access to anything. These, just taking these Torx screws off. You know what the fender liner said after loosening it? It said, good luck. Good luck getting to that engine bay. Ugh. Uh, hmm. So I'm just, I decided to remove and get access to this uh, hood release handle. So I'm just carefully taking this plastic off, but I don't want to just force it, so <laughs> it's it's coming out, but it's like a little hard. So we gotta loosen this kick panel <laughs> to take this off. That's crazy. Yep, super fun. Oh, nice! Look at that. Comes with the Allen tool. Hmm. Maybe that's for the sunroof. 
It's really cool that the headliner's black on this car. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy off now. Ooh, I wasn't planning on taking this car apart, honestly. The entire procedure to take this thing out so i didn't know i mean obviously i don't rarely i mean i look up videos usually but not on this car i didn't look anything up on how to do it but just went for it like the old school way you know you just see something and you gotta take it off so this piece was here it has to come out before this whole piece can actually slide down that's the crazy part so taking my time with all this because you know obviously don't want to damage anything but i gotta get to this handle and just inspect it maybe i can pull it harder with the, maybe the pliers or something so i can open the hood because i do not i don't want to have fun underneath the car when there's no space to get up top or get your hands anywhere so here's the funny part it's almost out right but this part just it just won't let me, you know, remove it because it's like I gotta, I gotta pull up on this to slide this out. It's oh my goodness, this is nuts. <laughs> Been kicking my ass this car without removing this trim. <laughs> you're not getting this one out. What the heck? Oh man. <laughs> yep welcome to the world of new cars i left this thing carefully in place just out of the way I removed this handle for the hood release assembly and now i'm trying to remove this cable i'm gonna try to pull maybe the cable just needs to be pulled more it just seems like it came off of something but i mean that's one of the things i wanted to check to see if it maybe came off of the actual like assembly but it's still there but I'm just gonna remove the cable and try to, you know, use pliers. Maybe I can pull on it harder or something, you know. I just gotta see what I can do before I actually go underneath the car. I really don't want to do that. So unfortunately, when I pull it, the whole, like, assembly keeps coming out, so. Yeah, it's not good. The whole thing, so it got detached somewhere. Okay, so what I'm doing now is See how you can like push this down, this grill. So let me see. This grill. You can push down. When you push down, there's actually a latch right there. So I'm gonna try to stick my pick tool in there. Oh well, it's been three hours. Still no luck. Uh, but I'm gonna be trying it from underneath probably Dylan brought this uh, big rod I'm gonna be trying my best because I can't open it from the top I can do yeah <laughs> mm. yeah I mean you can't compare these cars to amazing old school cars these are just different different types of animals i guess <laughs> but we're not giving up obviously we're gonna get this thing open man after what three or four hours finally got this thing open from underneath with the mirror and the anger i don't even want to imagine and with my forehead i was holding the flashlight up Dude, this I don't even know. I mean, I, I hit that thing, one of those things right there. Is the mirror still there? We gotta take this, disassemble this thing. Let me, uh, let me pull the cable. Try to pull the cable? Okay, yeah, it's definitely moving in the middle somewhere. Okay. Uh, keep doing it. I'm trying to see where it's at. Oh, it's right here. It's this guy. So it got loose somewhere here. Man. So now the cable is somewhere in the middle, like either came loose or whatever, got reattached. We're just gonna start removing all this thing here because this thing has an oil leak right here too. 
fix my socket because I was trying to get through. I was actually trying to remove this bolt. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah, but it uh, sucks. Um, kind of damaged this a little bit right here in the plastic. That's okay. It's just a plastic, you know. At least nothing else got damaged, so that's good. I'm gonna keep taking this off. Let me see. I don't see anything broke on it. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it just popped out. How the heck would it just pop out like that? Oh, uh, man, that's we were, okay. I was working on it. That's why. But did you have this uh, apart? Yeah, I had. The, I had all this off here. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna okay. pop this. These two. Alright, go pull the latch. Yeah. Okay, let's pull. Alright, it's popping out. It pops out, right? Huh. So there should be a retainer for it. Yeah, so this, no, this should be uh, retained in the middle somewhere. That's right here. There's yeah. a clip right here. Man, what a legendary machine. How easy it is to do everything on this car. So much space. Like, no, like, <laughs> it's like you can't compare this to this. <laughs> Dude, like. I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, good luck getting, getting, like, to any of this stuff. Man. Hey, Nathan, look what we're doing, me and Dylan. We're doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, all these amazing cars, you know what I mean? Yeah, where are you at, bro? Well, that probably needs... Eh, I mean, it's full. It's full. I made sure I filled it up. But... Check. Always good. At least this one has a dipstick. <laughs> yeah, I see it's up the max. Yeah. It's good. And maybe that's what's causing my oil leak a little bit. Because yeah. I filled it up so much. Got it <laughs> Tightened up the cable and everything. Look at that. It's magic. And now it opens up like it should. And just added some extra zip ties to it so it's holding it in place. And it's not going to pop off the latch. What a crazy night, huh?